Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you can tell, my hair is different. It's different and we're gonna talk about it. So, if you're ready, just stay tuned. Let's discuss the elephant in the room, my hair, okay? The last video that I posted was about me putting a texture manageability system on my hair that did not work. And I said, eventually, I'm probably going to put a relaxer on my hair. And I didn't quite put a relaxer on my hair, but I absolutely did put chemicals on my hair because I just needed a break. We've got a one-year-old, our lives are pretty busy, and the last thing that I had the energy or the effort to do was to just sit and figure out what I was going to do with my hair every time it was time for it to be washed. I went to the beauty supply store one day after work. I purchased a texture manageability system, a texture softener, a texturizer, whatever you wanna call it. And as my mother was watching my son, I texturized my hair. <laughs> I did it on my own, and the results are amazing i'm very happy with it i'm very pleased with it my hair has been uh curled for a portion of the day and the curls are still hanging on but for the most part it's the straightness for me okay it still has texture it still has body it still is nice and full looking however it is manageable there is very little texture on the edges of my hair but that's because i was very intentional about making sure i hit the edges and then the back of my hair as well is very smooth and that again because i was very intentional about that however the center part of my head has more texture which is what gives me the fullness and the body that i'm used to even with my silk pressed uh, hair when i was natural all day i've been teaching i changed the part for the afternoon hours and guess what my hair is still going strong so if you're considering this don't let natural hair nazis tell you anything otherwise if you need something to simplify your life i am a proponent of doing whatever makes you happy and this has made me extremely happy. I did want to come in here and explain that before showing you all the process that I went through. I bought a Just For Me Texture Softener No Lie System, and that is what I used to put on my hair. I processed my hair for 18 or 19 minutes. The suggested time was 16 minutes, and I followed everything exactly as is in the box with the exception of the processing time. I added a few minutes onto that, and then I decided, okay, let's go ahead and rinse it out. So again, zero regrets. I absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video. Be sure to, if you've watched a couple videos and you're vibing with me and you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe and definitely click the bell notification so that you don't miss an upload, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and let's get into the rest of the video. So as you can see, we get started by putting Vaseline around the edges. I took the directions. I was trying to read them to make sure. And they told me that I needed to take this bottle of oil, pour half of the bottle of oil into the cream and use the other half on my hair. And so that's exactly what I did. I'm pouring it in here and then I'm mixing it in. applying product on your hair you want to make sure that you have your hair sectioned off some people section um, smaller sections but because my hair was completely natural I had to do a virgin um, texturizer which means I needed to put it on all parts of my hair not just my roots I kept smelling it because this oil smelled so good and then I started applying it now you'll see this first section I go all the way to the very ends of my hair and I was not supposed to do that according to my mom because that's the oldest part of your hair so it's the most sensitive so you want to wait and not put it on the very ends until um, you're smoothing the product into your hair at this point i'm looking at the directions because i did not read them thoroughly like my mother told me to beforehand and so i was trying to check the processing time to make sure um see of how long i had to do this so i'm just going to go through and smooth the product into my hair avoiding my roots and avoiding my ends until i go back and smooth more product in and that is because your the heat from your head processes your product faster and you do not want to over process the roots of your hair. You can see 
I'm taking smaller sections in the beginning and then when I move to the side in the front, my sections get a little bit larger. You just wanna make sure that if you wanna be more thorough, definitely take smaller sections, but I wanted to make sure I had enough time to do everything. You'll see my mom bring me a towel because I started without a towel, like a crazy person. Um, now you can see me applying it to my edges and um, soon I'm going to grab a, a processing brush like a dye brush and I'm going to go ahead and start sectioning my hair off and putting the product close to my roots. You want to avoid your scalp at all costs. You do not just want products sitting on your scalp because that will begin to burn because all of us scratch our heads um, whether we realize it or not and your scalp is going to be sensitive in the places that you have scratched. Here you'll see me smoothing everything out. It's not a lot of product on my hair at this point, um, but I wanna make sure that I get every section. So I'm smoothing it out. I'm going all the way to the end and then I'm separating each section, wiping up any extra and then putting more as I need to. So you can see the inside is still a little textured and I'm just making sure to smooth the product out and put more where it needs to be put. Now I begin the process of rinsing the texturizer out of my hair. You wanna make sure that if you know you're not very good washing, thoroughly washing your hair, that you get the system that has the pink um, indicator. Basically the shampoo turns pink if there's still product or chemicals in your hair and it will become white if there's nothing in your hair anymore. So if you've rinsed all the chemicals out, your suds will be white and you will know that you have rinsed everything out. So that's pretty much what I've done here. And I'll just rinse my hair out and then I'm going to start the process um, of blow drying it next. In an effort not to bore you all, I'm going to show you just a little bit of the flat ironing process. Um, this flat iron gets up to a 400 and I think 30 degrees and I put it on the second to highest setting. My hair holds heat very well so as you'll notice in some places I do one pass in other places I do two um, but this is the final product. I was curling it late at night and I knew I was going to go to sleep and I wasn't going to do anything else to my hair so these were just rough curls so that I could get an idea. I absolutely love the results. This has been the best decision I could have ever made. I do not care about societal pressures to remain natural. I'm very glad that I did this and I absolutely love the results. So thank you guys for watching. Comment down below and let me know how you like it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.